1934, the National Society of Professional Engineers' first president, David Steinman, spoke of protecting engineers from unqualified practitioners, building recognition for engineers, and standing against unethical practices and inadequate compensation. Today, the NSPE still works to address these issues and others, but for the 21st century. Continuing the theme first started by Steinman, the NSPE Board of Directors will be working with various committee chairs and members to create a future destination for the engineering profession. At NSPE's annual meeting in Las Vegas in mid-July, seven focus groups from the NSPE House of Delegates met to begin to address the key areas of licensure, ethics, advocacy, diversity, education, recruitment, and sustainability. They drafted visions, goals, and action items around each which will be combined into the first draft of NSPE's 2020 Transformation Plan. As the year and the plan progresses, we'll share in-depth details in future columns of the PE Magazine and blog about the plan and the details at httpcommunity.nspe.org backslash blogs or the discussion section of the NSPE Facebook page. We welcome your participation in the social media world. In creating the 2020 Transformation Plan, first we want the public to know what a professional engineer is and to recognize PE as the only standard for the engineering profession. Second, we want the public to know that PEs are a learned, honorable profession, that we take an oath to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the public. Third, that PEs are held to the highest ethical standards. And finally, that PEs are leaders in the engineering profession, in business, and in our communities. The plan will focus on the areas of licensure, ethics, advocacy, diversity, education, recruitment, and sustainability. There are more than 1.7 million degreed engineers in the United States, with roughly 460,000 professional engineers, or only 27%. The profession continues to be eroded by several factors, including non-PEs and technicians performing ever more complicated tasks. Technologists cannot be expected to possess the same critical thinking, analytical problem-solving skills, or the ability to innovate like a professional engineer. NSPE continues to advocate for licensure and promote licensure at every level, beginning at the undergraduate level. NSPE also actively lobbies against the industrial exemption and in areas of government where non-PEs supervise PEs. Furthermore, NSPE works closely with the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying and the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology to promote licensure for all engineers. Become a mentor today for licensure. Ethics are the cornerstone of NSPE. Look at the economic predicament we are in today and ask yourself, had the bankers, lenders, brokers, and realtors acted in an ethical fashion, would we have experienced the collapse in the housing market that has impacted our whole economy? As professional engineers, we have taken an oath to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the public, but also to conduct ourselves by a strict code of ethics. This is what sets us apart from other professions, as well as non-professionals. The code of ethics is inseparable from membership in NSPE. Practically daily, legislation is introduced in Washington, D.C. that directly impacts the PE's ability to practice and how engineering business can operate. In collaboration with other national engineering societies, NSPE is partnered to repeal 1099 requirements, defer 3% withholding, uphold qualifications-based selection, improve Good Samaritan legislation, and support the critical role that PEs play in nuclear safety, as a few examples. As part of the recent Capitol Hill Day, NSPE leadership met with Representatives Joe Barton, Republican of Texas, and David McKinley, Republican of West Virginia and professional engineer, as well as staff from the offices of Representatives Candace Miller, Republican of Michigan, to discuss issues impacting our members. Remember, technical societies promote your skills and abilities, but NSPE protects your right to practice as a professional engineer. Do you advocate for the profession? When someone asks you what you do, do you say you are an engineer or a professional engineer? Be proud of being a PE and proudly display that you are a member of NSPE by indicating so on your business card. As a profession, we should reflect the many faces of our society, but we do not. Diversity of backgrounds and thinking yields better solutions. NSPE works with the Society of Women Engineers, the National Society of Black Engineers, the National Society of Hispanic Engineers, as well as other groups to actively promote the profession. 
NSPE recently co-sponsored the Society of Women Engineers event, the Diversity and Inclusion Fuels Innovation in STEM Capitol Hill Day. The event included a congressional reception where representatives Roscoe Bartlett, Republican of Maryland, Eddie Bernice Johnson, Democrat of Texas, Dan Lipinski, Democrat of Illinois, and Sylvester Reyes, Democrat of Texas, spoke about the importance of broadening participation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Learning should be a lifelong process. To that end, NSPE membership includes 15 free professional development hours annually. The importance of lifelong learning to maintain professional competency is one reason NSPE supports the new NCEES 2020 model law, which promotes an increase in the higher education credits required to fully learn the body of knowledge needed by professional engineers. The United States is the only industrialized country that does not require a five-year or master's degree to become a licensed professional engineer. Most students today pursuing advanced degrees in engineering are not United States citizens. Not long ago, 80% of these students graduated and stayed and practiced engineering in the U.S. By 2020, it is predicted that less than 10% will stay in the U.S. and the balance of engineering innovation will shift overseas. It is being called the great engineering brain drain. The choice seems to be clear. Either we continue to promote advanced engineering degrees in the U.S. or we will be buying our innovation from overseas. NSPE intensely supports STEM education initiatives and is working to increase the number of young people pursuing careers in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. NSPE, through Senator Kristen Gillibrand, Democrat of New York, and Republican Paul Tonko, have helped introduce the Engineering Education for Innovation Act. This legislation would help establish a grant program to help states improve their K-12 engineering education programs. Challenges in recruitment are faced both internally and externally. Externally, NSPE helps recruit young people to become involved in engineering through support of JETS, Math Counts, NEDC, eWeek, speaking engagements to middle school or high school groups, and similar activities. Secondly, NSPE membership represents a mere 10% of the licensed professional engineers. Yet, we advocate for and work to protect all licensed professional engineers. Members should recruit their colleagues in the profession to become involved. Chances are you became involved in an SPE because someone you respected asked you to. Aim to do other colleagues the same favor. We are much stronger as a national society than as individuals in advancing the profession of engineering and protecting the PE licensure. We as a professional society need to continually demonstrate and improve the value of membership in NSPE in our state societies. We need to be delivering value in the services we offer that help our members elevate their core competence and abilities to practice as professional engineers. No matter what side of the climate change debate you fall on, natural and material resources are limited, and our dependence on foreign fossil fuels weakens U.S. national security. Essentially, we are stealing from the future, selling it at the present, and calling it gross domestic product. Today, our public debt matches our GDP. There are currently six billion people in the world, two billion of whom have never flipped on a light switch. By 2040, the human population is expected to number nine billion. All share the same right to energy and a healthy quality of life. The challenge will be in how we provide that without further diminishing resources and polluting our environment. This is not just an energy problem. It extends to every facet of our infrastructure, such as potable water, wastewater, and transportation, all of which impact everyone's quality of life. Society needs engineers to solve ever more complicated problems, all while doing more with less. So we look upon each and every one of you as leaders in our profession. Be a leader and actively promote licensure, ethics, advocacy, diversity, education, recruitment, and sustainability each and every day. Today, we are sowing the seeds of change. So ask yourself and your colleagues, what can you be doing to make a difference? Do you believe in the practice of professional engineering? If you do, then we are much stronger as a national society than as individuals in advancing the profession of engineering. What can we, as a national and state society of professional engineers, do to promote PEs?